Welcome back everybody. Carrying on with the, uh, the little series we've been doing is the uh, upgrade of the TH9X which as you know is the FlySky transmitter. If you guys have been following along and you've got your own that's great. There's the original FlySky module. We've taken it out the back and we're going to be replacing it with the FR Sky XJT module. This will give us two to three times the distance of the original one and not only that it will support telemetry and it does SBUS. So fantastic we can talk to all the new FR Sky telemetry devices and get information back to our radio. So we're going to remove this little bit of plastic post that you can see just inside there. It supports those pins. Those pins will have to go unsupported. Just be careful as you snap your modules in and out. Um, so you don't bend them, of course, because you won't have that protection there anymore. But I have to remove it to get this in. Reason being, this is not recessed anywhere near as deep as this one. And it goes damn close to fitting in anyway. Left hand side snaps down and the right hand side's about 3 mil. We had three mil to spare should go in. Okay, so I'll whip the back off. In the back of it, there is a printed circuit board PCB that needs coming out of there before we hack into this so we don't damage the pins that support. So the pins are on that PCB, but you'll see. I'll show you when we take it out. Straight back. Okay, so here's the back off. And as you can see on the back, you've got this PCB which is covering it. And this PC is your power. It's getting your power and gives it to the motherboard on the other side. As well as picking up these pots. Okay, and switches. So we'll see if we can remove this and just have it hanging back a bit. Rather than taking all the switch plugs out, which should be not that difficult if we need to do, but let's see if we can do it without it. Maybe we can just put something underneath there to keep it far enough away. Okay, so I just broke the two parts apart there, the four little screws that come out. So remove those four little screws and your board is floating free, held on by the plugs. Okay. So now you can see that there's, there's those five pins in the light there. We're going to remove that from the case altogether. Okay, so that was pretty easily achieved. It's pretty brittle. And as I squeezed my side cutters onto it, she cracked along the seam, which is good. And so two little cracks, one from either side, and I just bent it out and it popped out. You can see the two pieces. A little bit of crap beside it there. They just pop straight out. Easy enough job done. So just be gentle. Seeming what mould of plastic you had, what breed that they gave you on yours. But that's good enough. I've gave it a scratch around with my thumbnail. We'll get the board back on and the pins put through. And we'll put it in. Alright. So there we have the module snapped into the back. It just went straight in, no problems. The one thing I did do though, just a little bit of an engineering tip when you're putting things together like this again, just leave the screws in the PCB, tighten it down when you put it back in without the module, and then back them off a couple of turns so that plate can actually move under the screws. Try and sit it central. And then set your unit in. As it clicks in, it'll want to sit middle. That PCB will want to sit middle on the back. Turn it over. Give the PCB a little bit of a push around with your fingers. All right. If you can feel that it's centered under the screws, tighten the screws back down. Okay, so I'm going to snap this back together, plug it all back in. There's no need for you to see that. 
Okay, let's see what action we get when we, um... There we go. Don't know whether you can see the green flasher there, maybe just. It's green and red. There's a red steady and a green flash. So now we'll get um, a receiver powered up outside of an aircraft and we'll bind one of the two receivers I've bought to the radio. And we'll go from there guys, because I've also got a, um, a voltage sensor. So with the voltage sensor we'll be able to get some telemetry back for the first time. And we'll make that a next video. So there's our uh, XJT module in. Okay, that concludes the uh, TH9X upgrade with the 9 Extreme and the XJT module going in the back. It was really easy. So um, if you have one of these and you're going to upgrade it, go for it. Get the 9 Extreme board, get the XJT module, put them together. It really is only an afternoon's work and you will have a brand new radio. Okay, so that's covered that part of it. We'll be going on to now um, all the telemetry for Fire Sky, FR Sky. So bingo, what we got here, we got the X4R. So the X4R is the next job that gets bound to the radio and then with the XR4 being bound to the radio I have it here somewhere is the voltage sensor so we'll get this voltage sensor connected to a battery connected to the X4R those two together will send beep, 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 telemetry back to the good old radio that we've now upgraded okay and that'll be our um, First lot of two-way communication backwards and forwards from the aircraft to the radio. And so that's going to be real exciting, real telemetry happening on the good old TH9X. So super duper. All right, guys. So um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. If you like the video, press that thumbs up button and give me a like. Um, I'm going to have another go shortly of binding this all this stuff together and have a fly this afternoon because it's been great weather and the wind should be dropping off out there. So um, enjoy your weekend. See ya.